Panera Bread is one of the most successful bakery chains in the world, with over 2,173 stores and over $6 billion in annual revenue. But what's the secret to Panera's success? In this video, we'll get into the heart of Panera's kitchen secrets, uncovering the science, precision, and pure passion that goes into every loaf. I will discuss 10 main reasons for Panera's huge rapid success. Before that, let's drop a bombshell. Did you know that the flash rise technique at Panera is a game changer that most people are oblivious to? Stick around to learn more awesome facts like that, and don't forget to subscribe. Panera Bread is an American chain. It's a store with a bakery and a cafe with a fast food type restaurant. And it operates as St. Louis Bread Company in the greater St. Louis area. It offers various pastries and baked goods, such as bagels, brownies, cookies, croissants, muffins, and scones. People say it is a popular destination for all ages and an excellent place for a quick meal and a cup of coffee. Or a place to relax and meet up with friends. It has become a go-to destination in merely a few decades. But was it that easy? Hell no. So, before getting into what makes it so successful, let's get down to the origins of this fast food chain, the history. Back in 1987, a duo named Ken and Linda Rosenthal had a wild idea in Kirkwood, Missouri. The St. Louis Bread Company was born. They tossed $150,000 into the mix and caught a small business administration loan of the same amount. Talk about a doughy dream coming to life. <clears throat> Fast forward to 1993, and Aubal Pan Company, a big player, swooped in and scooped up the St. Louis Bread Company for a cool $23 million. Things were rising, much like their bread, and the bakery game was about to get a serious upgrade. Then 1997 hit, and Aubal Pan decided it was time for a makeover. Out with the old, and in with Panera, a name echoing the Latin word for breadbasket. But hold up. The Missouri locations kept the OG name, St. Louis Bread Company, keeping a slice of tradition intact. While the name got a facelift, Panera wasn't just changing labels. They were also giving their St. Louis cafes a glow up. Fresh vibes, fresh bread. It was a win-win. <laughs> By 99, the Aubon Pan Company had other plans and sold off Aubon Pan for $78 million. Why? To go all in on Panera Bread. Of course, it was a strategic move that set the stage for what was about to unfold. The early 2000s brought another change. Panera Bread packed its bags and moved headquarters to Richmond Heights, Missouri. New digs, new possibilities. Come 2007, Panera Bread made a power move, grabbing a 51% slice of Paradise Bakery and Cafe in the Phoenix area, 70 locations across 10 states. That's a lot of ovens baking the Panera way. Lawsuit. But not every journey is smooth. In 2008, a lawsuit knocked on Panera's door, accusing them of keeping some financial secrets. It wasn't a walk in the park, but by 2011, Panera agreed to a $5.75 million settlement. No wrongdoing admitted, just a step toward keeping things transparent. And if you thought the story ended there, think again. Panera Bread switched up its address, bidding farewell to Richmond Heights in 2010 and settling into Sunset Hills. Additional office space came into play in 2013, a sign that this bakery store wasn't just about bread, but growth, flavor, and an experience beyond the crust. The Canadian Odyssey In the crisp October of 2008, Panera Bread marked a monumentous chapter in its narrative by expanding its aroma-filled haven into the maple-scented lands of Canada. Richmond Hill, Thornhill, Oakville, and Mississauga witnessed the rise of Panera Bread in the greater Toronto area, introducing Canadians to the artistry of fresh-baked perfection. Tech hits the menu. Fast forward to May 2014. Panera wasn't just about bread anymore. They unleashed Panera 2.0 a tuck fiesta that changed the game. They introduced iPads at your service, known as the fast lane. You could order and pay without playing the waiting game in line. And your smartphone? It became your personal Panera guru, taking orders and payments with a simple tap. By 2017, digital orders weren't just a thing. They were a whopping $1 billion chunk of sales, making up 26% of the pie. 
Visual Feasts and Cafe Takeover. Fast forward again to September 2015, and it's like a visual feast. Paradise Bakery and Cafe decided to hop on the Panera Bread bandwagon. Growth wasn't just on the menu, it was on the rise. But Panera wasn't just stopping at pastries and bread. In late 2015, they shook hands with Toddy Bakery and Cafe, bringing that Panera goodness to Boston and stretching its reach into the hustle of Washington, D.C. March 23, 2016. A date to remember, Panera opened its 2,000th location in Elaria, Ohio. That wasn't the only thing rising. Panera declared its menu free of artificial stuff in 2017, keeping it fresh and natural. On July 11, 2017, they swept Panera Bread off its feet with a $7.5 billion deal. Talk about a ticket to the major leagues. Fast forward to November 8, 2017, and it's a changing of the guard. Founder Ron Shake handed over the CEO reins to Blaine Hurst, and Panera snagged Aubon Pan, adding another layer to the Panera story. January 2018, through a curveball, Panera let go of Toddy Bakery and Cafe, handing it over to Act 3 Holdings, LLC, owned by none other than the founder, Ron Shake. Also, they dived into the consulting game, helping restaurants ditch artificial ingredients. Tech glitches and AI highs. April 2nd, 2018, wasn't a highlight reel. The Panera Bread website goofed up, leaking customer records. They fixed it, and the show went on. In August 2022, Panera Bread decided to ride the AI wave, testing artificial intelligence in its drive through lanes. With Open City's voice ordering tech, Tori Panera joined the tech savvy squad alongside McDonald's and Taco Bell and showed it could groove with the big dogs. From ovens to your door. Panera wasn't just about the in-store magic. They wanted to bring the feast to your doorstep. In May 2018, they rolled out delivery services, reaching 897 cities in 43 states. That move didn't satisfy hunger. It created a whopping 13,000 jobs. Fast forward to October 28, 2020, and Panera decided to spice up their menu. Pizza entered, adding more flavor to your dinner choices. On August 25th, 2021, Panera decided to merge with Caribou Coffee and Einstein Brothers Bagels, creating a powerhouse trio, Panera Brands. It was like the culmination of all those fresh baked dreams turning into a brand that's not just about bread, but crafting experiences that linger beyond the taste buds. It seems to be a smooth sailing journey that leads Panera to success, but there are many seemingly minimal reasons for its success that many don't know about. So let's discover them individually. The last one will surprise you. 10 Solid Reasons for Panera Bread's Flash Rise Number 10. The Niche Magic Panera's success isn't a complicated recipe. It's grounded in a straightforward strategy. Lawrence Rabiniak, a Wharton management professor, sums it up. Panera carved its niche by positioning itself as a fast food haven that serves not only tasty, but healthy and affordable options. In a world where two-thirds of the United States battle obesity, Panera emerged as a wholesome alternative to the land of greasy burgers and hefty burritos. Beyond the menu, Panera carefully curates a warm and inviting atmosphere, transforming it into a symbol of comfort and a gathering spot for friends and families. Number 9. The Visionary Roots The real success started when Ron Shack the head of Aubon Pan, acquired the St. Louis Bread Company, renamed it Panera, Latin for Time of Bread, and it was all about his vision and mission. Ron wasn't just in it for the dough. He was on a mission to flip the fast food script. In a world where giants were slinging self-service gas for the human body, Ron shouted, Enough! Panera became the answer. A hub of specialty artisan bread, free from the shackles of chemicals and preservatives. And guess what? By the time the financial storm hit, Panera wasn't just standing tall, it was growing, with earnings per share soaring by over 50%. Number 8. Easy Access Panera is convenient to access. There are more than 2,000 Panera bread locations in the United States and Canada, so there will likely be a Panera near you. It makes it easy to grab a quick meal or a snack, or sit down for a more leisurely dining experience. Number 7. Investment in Florida While others tightened their belts during the recession, 
Panera did the opposite. Instead of cost-cutting, Panera invested in product quality, growth, and marketing. The menu saw a makeover with low-fat fruit smoothies, revamped salads, and new signature dishes. The company even dabbled in growing its own lettuces. In economic uncertainty, Panera's salad business soared by 30%. Panera wasn't just dishing out food, they were serving up a commitment to quality, even when the going was tough. Number six, Panera is affordable. The prices are reasonable, and various value-added options are available, such as the You Pick 2 menu and the Panera Rewards program. Panera is a great option for people on a budget, such as students and seniors. That's why it's accessible by many, and people of every wallet type prefer enjoying a meal there. Number five, customer experience as a cornerstone. Let's talk about the Panera experience, where it's not just about stuffing your face. Borrowing a page from Starbucks, Panera decided to be more than a dining spot. It became a hangout, a community center, the third place. It wasn't just about what was on the plate, but about the vibe. Think comfy chairs and the hum of conversations, people working away on laptops, a space that goes beyond just a pit stop for food. Panera became the living room away from home. Number four, free drinks on the house. Panera believes in rewarding loyalty, especially for their regular customers. If you're familiar and your local Panera is managed with a friendly touch, you might just find yourself sipping on complimentary drinks. It's the Panera way of saying thanks for making us your second home. Number three, riding the wealth wave. Panera rode the wave as health concerns took center stage by emphasizing artisan sandwiches and wholesome ingredients. Panera offered a menu that resonated with health-conscious customers in the landscape where almost every restaurant was dishing out burgers and fries. Even if not every item on the menu is diet food, Panera gave the illusion of healthier choices. The chain's focus on healthier options earned it accolades, ranking first for Best Healthy Option by Zagat and securing a spot as one of the fittest quick-serve restaurants by Health Magazine. Number two, a customer-driven schedule. Have you ever wondered why your favorite soup isn't on the menu daily? Panera spills the beans. It's all about customer demand. The soup schedule isn't a rigid decree. It flexes and adjusts based on customers' cravings. If your local Panera has a love affair with potato soup, chances are it's because the community demanded it. It's Panera's way of keeping the soup experience as authentic as possible. Number one, keeping it special. Now, the challenge was to keep the Panera magic alive. As they expanded, the key was not to saturate the market. Stay true to the roots. High quality, reasonably priced offerings in a welcoming environment. It's not just about serving food. It's about providing an experience that sticks. Panera has to keep an eye on the ever-changing customer needs as competition pops up, staying one step ahead. They're putting all of their efforts into maintaining a unique mechanism, keeping everything exceptional and delivering high quality to even low budgets. That's why it will most likely replace some of the biggest rivals in upcoming years. So Panera's story isn't just about dough rising. It's about sticking to a focused niche and ensuring every customer loves a full belly and a satisfied soul. What do you think about Panera's future? Let me know in the comments section and don't forget to subscribe. See ya!